A pro wrestler knowing when to call it a day is one of the hardest things about being a pro wrestler. Over the years, wrestlers have made bold decisions in relation to their retirement and 90% of the time, they've regretted this move and subsequently come out of retirement. Some retirements are applauded by fans as it's truly time that the wrestler hung up their boots for good. However, some retirements are questioned as that wrestler still has a lot to offer. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 wrestlers who retired way too soon. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, JBL. The retirement of JBL at WrestleMania 25 came as a huge surprise to fans. JBL was one of the top stars in the entire company, and although he had a history of back issues, it looked like he was able to work through the pain. He was a top level performer as his character was over and every feud he was involved in had meaning and substance. JBL stepping away from the ring in 2009 seemed like an abrupt move, but according to JBL, he knew it was time, as he was getting too old to hang with the youth of WWE. JBL is a talent who has stuck to his word in relation to staying retired and it's great to see WWE use his talents as a manager as he began to manage Baron Corbin in late 2022. Number 9 Michelle McCool In 2011, Michelle McCool announced her retirement from WWE. This was a shocking call from McCool as she was one of the top female stars in WWE and her in-ring work had aged like a fine wine. McCool would discuss in depth her decision to retire on Lillian Garcia's Chasing Glory podcast as McCool stated, yeah, it was tough. I mean, just leaving in itself was tough because it got to a point where I was dealing with so much, again, mostly being Undertaker's girlfriend and while I was on TV and even having a writer throw the papers up one day and say, why don't we just call it the Michelle McCool and Undertaker show? And, wow. uh, you know, it was just, it was nonstop. And I went to Vince on numerous occasions and bless his heart, he was wonderful. But I just said, you know, Vince, I don't want to hate someone something that I grew up loving so much. And the longer I stay, the more I'm like, oh, I'm getting this, you know, a sour taste in my mouth. McCool has come out of retirement for appearances in the Royal Rumble, but there are still calls from fans to see McCool have one more run in WWE, which is crazy to think about when you consider that the former Divas champion retired over a decade ago. Number eight, Abyss. TNA legend Abyss retired from in-ring competition in 2019 without too much fanfare. Now, Abyss is without question one of the greatest big men to ever lace up a pair of boots, and numerous names such as AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, and Sting have spoken at length about how gifted Abyss is inside the squared circle. When he retired, it was evident that he still had so much more to give, and he would later be signed by WWE, but not as an in-ring talent. Abyss would become a producer for WWE, and this is a role which he received widespread appreciation for, as it looks like he truly has a gift for putting together matches. Although it seems like the former NWA World Champion has no plans to step inside the ring again, there are calls from fans to see Abyss enter the Royal Rumble as a surprise entrant, which would seal off a tremendous in-ring career. Number 7. Eve Torres and When Eve Torres announced to fans that she was retiring at just 29, fans were stunned. Eva had truly come into her own during her final years in WWE and her heel work was critically acclaimed by many. She stated that she wanted to start a family and this was something that fans came to appreciate about the former WWE star. She had accomplished everything she wanted to in WWE and it was time to put the WWE chapter of her life behind her. Although she has no desire to come out of retirement every year around the Royal Rumble season, she's rumored for a surprise appearance and hopefully one year this comes to fruition. Number 6. AJ Lee a true game changer when it came to WWE Women's Wrestling was AJ Lee. AJ brought new eyes to the women's division and her segments, particularly in 2012, were huge draws for WWE. AJ was immensely popular and she was a vocal face of the women's division who always campaigned for women to get better treatment in WWE and this is something that can never be taken away from her. AJ retired in 2015 as she'd been dealing with a serious neck injury. This combined with the fact that her husband CM Punk and WWE weren't exactly best friends, unfortunately created a very problematic workplace environment for AJ. She would have to stay active for a few short months for the likes of Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch to join the roster, and the matches AJ could have had with these talents could have been truly special. Fans still hope one day AJ decides to step back in the ring, but even if she doesn't, AJ's work and contributions to wrestling are going to be celebrated for years to come. Number 5. Lita 
Lita decided to call it a day and officially retire from WWE in 2006. Lita had fallen out of love with wrestling and the WWE lifestyle was making her miserable. The way WWE handled her retirement was heavily criticised as following a loss to Mickie James at the 2006 Survivor Series pay-per-view, Crime Time would auction off her belongings and this wasn't remotely fitting for an all-time great. Lita had so much more to offer WWE, but it was clear at this point in time that the women's division was becoming an afterthought and Lita deserved much better than to be a non-factor on WWE television. Thankfully, Lita has made a number of appearances since 2006, including a match with Becky Lynch in 2022, which was WrestleMania worthy. Lita finally now gets her flowers from WWE as she's often cited as the most influential and trailblazing female talents of all time. Number 4. Trish Stratus 2006 didn't just feature the in-ring retirement of Lita, as her arch-rival Trish Stratus also stepped away from the squared circle. She retired at the Unforgiven pay-per-view in a match against Lita, and unlike Lita, Stratus was given her flowers on the way out the door. She would discuss her reasons for retiring during a 2021 interview with Wild On, as she revealed, I thought, okay, I've literally worked with every female that's available, really, on the roster. Um, had, I mean, been so lucky to have these fantastic, robust feuds with all the women, too, really. Like, right little feeding match like really like great feuds and rivalries you know yeah to this day like people talk about and, and you know love and, and, and you know connect with oh. right oh yes yes yeah, so i felt that and then um and, and not that there was like i was teetering a little bit but then my mom got sick i don't know if you've heard the story about my mom oh. was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma oh gosh it just was like the universe saying this is your time to walk away and like focus on family again Whilst this decision was respected by fans, Stratus was a face of the women's division and to say that a retirement resulted in WWE falling out of favour with the women's division would be an understatement. Number 3. The Rock Backlash 2003 saw The Rock's final match as a full-time talent. The Rock was going to branch out to Hollywood and this would have been a career move that made The Rock a pop culture icon. What was crazy about The Rock's decision to exit WWE was that he had only been a main eventer in WWE for around 5 years and he was already leaving the company. The Great One had a ton more stories to explore and these were talents such as Eddie Guerrero, Batista and John Cena who we had yet to work an extensive program with. The Rock would make a number of future in-ring appearances for WWE but the days of him being a full-time talent are unfortunately long gone. Did The Rock make the right call back in 2003 to hang up his boots? Well, in hindsight, yes, but it was clear that The Rock saying goodbye did severe damage to the WWE's product, as The Rock was simply put the most exciting and charismatic talent WWE had under contract. Number 2. Stone Cold Steve Austin a Stone Cold Steve Austin's established history of neck issues finally caught up to him in 2003. Austin would have his last match at WrestleMania 19 in a match against his arch-rival The Rock. Austin retiring was a huge blow to WWE and the fans as Austin had been the face of the company for the past few years and he had represented the company through their ultimate peak. It was a huge shame that Austin had to retire due to injury as his work was still excellent and there were still storylines waiting for him such as feuds with Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. Almost two decades after his initial retirement, Austin would come out of retirement for a main event match with Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 38. The match was well received by the fan base, and Austin showed everyone that maybe he had one or two more stunners left in him after all. And number one, Shawn Michaels. A WrestleMania 26 acted as a swan song, or one of the all time greats in Shawn Michaels. HBK would have his last ever match against The Undertaker and what was interesting about HBK's retirement was that it was questioned if it was the most appropriate time for him to call it a day. HBK's work was still incredible and he was having great matches with everyone. There were simply no signs of him slowing down or his in-ring work deteriorating. Nevertheless, in 2018, HBK made the controversial decision to come out of retirement. He would team with Triple H to take on the Brothers of Destruction at the Crown Jewel event and it was evident that HBK had a ton of ring rust and wasted what would have been a huge opportunity for him to wrestle a young star. The Hall of Famer has been openly critical about his decision to come out of retirement, stating he wished he remained retired. It goes without saying that HBK had a few more years left in him when he initially retired in 2010, but it was ultimately his decision to call it a day and it's something fans have to respect. But there you have it folks, 10 wrestlers who retired way too soon. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.